Did your brother eventually get out of prison? Oh, which one? The one that was convicted. No, my brother Mohammed died at age 24. He was born in 1922 when he got arrested, and then at the time when he got arrested, he was condemned to death in, uh, into uh, life in prison. But there is another chapter which, I mean, like there are many chapters that covers that story as well. But um, <coughs> later on, because he wanted it to help others who didn't have family members or who needed, it, you know, medicine, or you know, I guess he scheduled like sanitizing the prison and whatever it was. And also, he was very hard at it. The, the, the support wanted him to do interview and practically repent, and he didn't do that. So they revised his um, uh, penalty, and then became death penalty. And he died. He, he got executed after 26 months of imprisonment, and I believe 18 months of that was in solitary, all alone by himself. But my brother Hussein was uh, arrested one time just that night, and he got freed a month later. And my other brother was uh, arrested, but not you know, related to um, to any you know, opposition groups or anything like that. And he was in prison. So my my brother, my mom was actually going back and forth on Wednesdays with the, the visit day, and usually they kept my brother Muhammad at the Sapa detention center, which is like mainly like for those who are not repenting or who are like. So she would be going back and forth on Wednesday just like to see all of them and it was just really horrible and there are many mothers that they would do that. Any other questions? Yeah. Can I explain what the CRC uh, said under the CRC that we were CRC. Oh, CRC. I'm so sorry. The book offers a, um, a um, in Goa, so there was Persian word. CRC means practically political, and uh, this, uh, uh, I mean, it has become like sort of a, uh, some, you know, the meaning of sort of a, a phrase that they use. By itself means political, but under Shah regime as well as under Khomeini regime, they use this uh, or to practically, you know, put you down or say something mean that you know you are involved with the opposition groups or anti-government, you know, uh, groups and, and stuff like that. So it had become like already like a like a bad thing, you know. You are CRC. Oh my gosh! I mean, like you know, I remember when I got free. You know, I mean, I could not get married. You know, like you know, I, people would come and say, "Oh, well, she was CRC, so we cannot marry her," or, or I couldn't work because I was said that I, you know, I was CRC. Just the word alone, it was already condemning me to all the other things. Yes. Uh, life in Iran today. Did you ever go back? Um, the last time I was in Iran, it was 21 years ago. Unfortunately, um, when I left, I was not allowed to leave even the city, let alone the country, because after I was freed, it, it was my mother had had actually used her house as collateral, and I, every month I actually had to go to the Safafa <coughs> sign to sign and then to, say, to say that I am here still so physically. So. When I decided to escape, I actually didn't even tell my family because they would, they would never you know, allow me to leave, especially my mother. I'm the only daughter and with seven brothers. So um, I had to convince her, convince her a lot, but practically I sort of arranged a, a trip to Turkey with my mother. She thought that we're just going to go for a week and that we'll be coming back. And then once I was in Tehran airport, I told her, Mother, you're leaving like an hour from now back to Shiraz, and I'm going to Turkey, and from Turkey, I'm going to to um, to go to Germany, you know, to take asylum or something. So, uh, no, I wasn't allowed to leave the country, and then after I left, my family, like because the support, you know, once in a while, they would go to the house and then just search for me or ask for me, and everything like that. And even when my mother came to Germany to visit me, um, when she went back, because they were like, you know, uh, visas in her passport, so they took her passport for seven years, she was not allowed to come back at all to leave the country. So I guess because of all the problems, my mother does not want me to go to Iran, but I would love to go to Iran. I would love to go and visit the country, you know, my childhood home. You know, I'm sure it has been 
so many changes. I, I bet if I go there, I'll be a complete stranger in my own hometown because the names have changed. You know, everything has changed. And so, but I would love to go there sometimes. I don't know if now they would allow me. 